Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and welcome to another video. Um, I have just realized that I've never actually taken a look at Synaptic, Synaptic Package Manager. Um, and as a matter of fact, I've actually never used Synaptic Package Manager um, as like a, I don't know, a graphical installer for Linux for me. Because, uh, you know, sometimes using a graphical Inst install manager in Linux is much more useful than just doing it in the terminal much more easy and simple than you than doing it in the terminal well, anyways um yeah here we have synaptic package manager opened up and uh, first thing I notice is that we actually have everything uh, organized so I actually really like this because um, I like things organized. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've got a bunch of different groups, a bunch of different uh, subjects and that sort of stuff. Um, I think this is pretty cool because it's uh, it's pretty easy to find stuff that you're looking for. Like if I want to look for Thunderbird, let's go to email. Um, let's see, can I find Thunderbird? Yep, it's right there. So that was simple. Uh, we'll try another one, graphics. Uh, let's look for, uh, I don't know, GIMP. Let's see, can we find GIMP? Well, I don't see GIMP, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's not in graphics. Um, anyways, you guys get the idea. <laughs> um, I think it's just super cool that these are in some nice uh, organized groups, so it's super simple for any Linux beginner especially. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's just search for a program. We'll just uh, use an example. So uh, let's see. LibreOffice. looks to me yep we've got all the LibreOffice packages right here which is super cool uh, LibreOffice GNOME draw there's uh, LibreOffice draw LibreOffice calc uh, let's see can we find write I don't know I'm not gonna spend a lot of time there's math uh, but uh, let's see we'll do LibreOffice LibreOffice writer and yep, there it is. And we do already have it installed, so that's lovely. <laughs> uh, let's see, sections. So this is all the uh, individual sections that we looked at earlier. Status, I guess this would be like um, the status of all the programs you've installed. Like, I don't know the uh, what percentage they're currently, inst or they're currently downloaded at or something. I don't know. There's just a, a little guess. As I said, I've never really actually taken a look at Synaptic. Um, but I don't know, it's it's actually my point exactly. This is a uh, sort of a beginner's program, which, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It would have been nice to know that this existed when I began using Linux, because when I began using Linux, I did not know how to use the terminal. Um, rather, I would definitely prefer using something like a uh, Linux Mint software manager, as you can see right here. Um, there. No, don't open two, please. But yeah, there's the uh, Linux Mint default software manager. <clears throat> uh, which, yeah, the Linux Mint uh, software manager, whenever I would use Linux Mint Cinnamon or any of the Linux Mint distributions. Um, anyways, yeah, I would uh, I would use the Linux Mint software manager rather than Synaptic. Uh, I'm pretty sure my old friend told me how to use it. Although, or told me that it did exist, although I never thought to go ahead and use it but yeah I'm not sure why all right let's see origin so I don't know I guess this is like the what is it like the code names or stuff or the um where the packages come from I think that's what it is I think it's where the packages come from because you can see right here it's got archive.ubuntu packages.linux mint yeah just that sort of stuff archive.ubuntu security.ubuntu that sort of stuff and then we've got custom filters so let's see, what are these? Broken, so I guess these are your broken packages. Uh, community maintained, so what is this, like your installed community maintained? <laughs> uh, marked changes, missing recommends. I'm not sure what a lot of these do. Search results. So these are my searches, my, uh, this is my search history in Synaptic. And then architecture. So I guess architecture would be stuff like, I don't know, i3, uh, 
64 or x64 x86 uh, let's see file so we could save markings generate package download script and the history so I guess this is the history of yeah the history of uh, the installed packages in synaptic edit packaged or uh, I apologize pa apologize package and settings which we can I guess customize it a little bit not really customize but you guys can have a quick look if you would like network colors files toolbar so I can change it to uh, up here to just show the icons which I like it I like the text below the icons and then we've got help where we can see about the synaptic program well anyways guys uh, that is pretty much it uh, I hope you all found this video helpful and useful uh, although it was a little bit of a um, just a small short little episode I just wanted to let you guys know I've never used synaptic before I mean I know I have definitely used synaptic before but I've never actually intentionally gone and typed synaptic yeah um, <laughs> I've never intentionally gone to the menu and typed in synaptic and um, yeah well, anyways, as I said, it has come towards the end of this video now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, I just realized while uploading my video, I never actually showed you guys what the installing is like, the installation process is like in Synaptic, which I don't know about you, but that was kind of the point of the video. So, open uh, Synaptic back up. And, uh, yep, we're back in Synaptic. Let's just go ahead and search for a program. Uh, let's do GIMP. Okay, down here we have GIMP, and uh, as I'm sure many of you know, GIMP, uh, I, I apologize, apt still has not, uh, Ubuntu has not, uh, still has not update, still has not updated the package for GIMP. Uh, it is still on GIMP 2.8 rather than GIMP 2.10. Um, either way, I'm just going to, uh, go ahead and mark this for installation and I already have it installed as you can see but uh, let's, uh, let's remove it since I don't need it right now so uh, let's see apply then we can apply the removal and theoretically we are done so uh, I don't know let's, uh, let's just go back over to GIMP I already had it typed in but whatever um, <laughs> Uh, we'll head over to GIMP again, and uh, we'll mark this for installation, just like so. Hit apply, and to be installed, apply, and we should be done. Yep, there we go. Now let's check, is GIMP present? Yes, indeed, GIMP is present.